<clears throat> hey guys i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to see me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please do let me know hello everyone i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to see me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please do let me know guys good evening everyone good evening i hope that i'm live right now please do let me know good evening everyone all good yeah i'm all good what about you guys uh do you guys uh, like how was your day and everything has the message been sent to all the whatsapp groups for the boot camp right now okay thank you so much okay how was your day guys uh do let me know good okay that's that's great some of them are saying that uh it was boring Adi Raj has a stomach ache. Okay, okay, not so wonderful day. Okay, that's that's good. Like, uh, not every day could be wonderful as well. We need to make sure that we are able to do something with the day itself. Something productive is done today. That's great, Kushi. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay. So some of the places are raining as well. See, to make sure that your day was productive, try to make sure that you're setting some goals of the day. Okay, <clears throat> before going to sleep, whenever you're going to sleep, just before uh, sleeping, it's when you are on your bed, just think about it. Okay, what is that you want to do the next day? Okay. Like that is what you need to think about. Okay, so tomorrow when I wake up, I will be doing completing my office works. I will be completing all the uh, Jira tickets that has been assigned to me. Once I've done that, I will take up two meetings with this and this team. Once the team meetings have been completed, I need to make a new plan for the upcoming boot camps. So just make a plan about what are the different things that you need to do tomorrow and just jot it down okay just before sleeping just write it down somewhere then when you're waking up the next morning you will have some motivation as well okay so this is a sense of direction would be there for you guys and this is what i need to do today okay and that will help you to be a lot more productive than before okay Try to do it, okay, try to make a timetable, try to follow your timetable as well, okay, many students just make the timetable for like an entire year or so and then never follow it, never do that, just make it for one or two days and try to like iterate over it and follow over it as well, okay, okay. Uh, thank you so much guys for uh, thank you Adi for the same okay yes Ishika uh, we have created that new so I would like to tell you guys about that as well I always said that whatever we do we do it at either at cost like for example if the instructor is charging us 5000 rupees we'll charge it directly to you guys or else we do it for free so it becomes very difficult so like I said I'm not interested in spending money from my own pocket the only thing that I can give is my time so we usually ask the students themselves key for any of our upcoming boot camps if you are planning to join them just share the information with uh, the students in your college okay because like we cannot reach out to them like I said like then we have to charge for the boot camps and everything and I die I don't want to do that so that is the reason why we usually ask the students that just send the information to five whatsapp groups and just that is it okay Okay, because it becomes very difficult for us to like do any sort of promotion or something like that so we just ask the students to do that on behalf of us i hope that that will be fine with you ishika i hope that that will be fine with you ishika
थैंक यू सो मच ओके सो वॉट अबाउट लाइक वॉट हैव इट डन इन आवर यस्टरी इज क्लास कैन सेमबडी लेट मी नो no issues code bulletin if it's not fine with you you can definitely come to the boot camp study for free there's no issues in that we never force you to do something okay that is something that we have done because we don't have any other option right over there okay okay pixels and percentage was our last okay great amazing guys so let me just open up the uh, ppt once again let me find the ppt first of all okay it was in downloads i guess so this is just so much that we have to download every single day okay dsa cp individual day wise dsa cp lor where is, where is the ppt okay basics of web development okay so we were discussing about the absolute and relative unit of measurements if i'm not wrong let me just open up the live chat on my mobile phone so i'm able to see you guys as well give me a second guys okay so i've opened up the live chat on my mobile phone okay abhishek that's uh, congratulations to you that you have got selected from uh, wipro uh, if that's the case you can just directly message me on uh, instagram and i will help you guys out with the same as well okay so today we are going to talk about jobs and something related to it oh yeah um yeah we had to talk about that as well so let's just first just finish up with absolute and relative a bit and then we'll start with that will that be fine uh shubh joshi yes that is a particular person from dev town itself okay so uh, if he had asked you for the same for the upcoming python bootcamp please try to complete it okay and suzy will also like to meet you guys so she is like right over here with me so like if time permits i will like uh, like you to meet suzy as well ha uh, ha uh, you will also be a famous youtuber okay uh, so let's get started right away guys so yesterday we discussed about the absolute and relative measurements and we discussed that the pixels is basically your absolute unit of measurement and relative is percentage so let us look at the, that from a cold perspective uh, yesterday we just drew some particular shitty boxes and we wanted to um, understand from it and that is not enough so what we are going to do is we are going to do that for uh, you guys right now via code okay so let me just open code sandbox i got a job in wipro joining date is july 25th i also got an infosys which is better uh, see both the companies are absolute uh, same so there is no like benefit of choosing one over the other that would be a total personal preference of who is offering you more money or something like that what happened babu amaya needs to teach okay okay so let me just open it up for you guys then we'll continue from right over there Hey. It's good while teaching. If you have somebody sitting next to you, it feels nice. It feels like yeah, I have the support of somebody. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just increase the size so that you guys are also able to see it. Okay. So we will be using the same uh, thing right over here. let me just delete it and uh, we will be and we will be inserting an image right over here img okay an image tag let's keep the source as let's take up a source from the website itself so let's take up an image from google images google dot com images let's see what happens if i search for dev town d e v t o w and i have never searched for it oh 
इट कम्स इन टू द सर्च रिजल्ट ये ओके सो विल टेक अप समथिंग फ्रॉम राइट ओवर हियर इट सेल्फ सो लेट्स टेक अप दिस सो कॉपी इमेज एड्रेस लेट्स गो बैक टू आवर वेबसाइट इट्स पेज द सोर्स ओके द सोर्स इज टू ह्यूज go to the alternate text control s next to the shift to the next line and we will write right over here okay so we'll write a uh, dev town logo let's save it let's go back to our website reload the page as you are able to see we are having this huge image that is there on our screen okay let us just decrease the uh so it's like 100% so this is right now at 100% width of the screen itself okay uh so right over here as you are able to see we are having such a huge image on our screen so what we are going to do is we are going to our css so any type of styling that you need to apply any kind of styling needs to go into your css file okay the fuck devtones like I, i have made the it is d e v t o w and that is the spelling i have created the name itself okay so right over here as you are able to see we need to write our style in our css file now as we are having just one image file we can directly use the image tag as well but yesterday i told you guys that we shouldn't be doing that okay we shouldn't be doing that we should be using a class right over here so let's put up a class okay so let's put the class as um dev okay let's put up the class as dev always remember guys never directly use uh, the um tag name always try to use the class name itself okay so yesterday we talked about that as well so right over here i will be so how to select the dev class can somebody let me know how do how to select the dev class can somebody let me know so you are ceo of dev town no i am not the ceo of dev dev town uh, there's an international person called as suzy who is the ceo of dev town dot <laughs> dev that's absolutely clever guys so dot dev and we want to change the width of the image okay we want to change the width of the image to let's say 50% okay we want to change the width of the image to 50% let's save it let's go back to our screen let's reload it as you are able to see the width of the image right now is 50% half of the width of the entire browser okay are you guys able to see this the width of the image is half the width of the browser itself and if you are closing on it okay if you are trying to uh, like decrease the width of the uh, entire page itself the width of the image automatically resizes itself to occupy just 50% of the width of the browser itself are you guys able to see this please let me know are you guys able to see this please let me know guys are you guys able to see this please let me know great so that is how <clears throat> a relative unit of measurement works but if i'm changing this to let's say not 50% but let's say 200 pixels okay i'm changing this to 200 <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm changing it to 200 pixels right over here. I'm going back to my website and reloading the page. As you're able to see, it has a fixed shape. No matter what I do with the entire browser, if I try to make it short or big, if I want to make it, they change the height or something like that. As for the shit, what did? I? uh if i want to decrease or increase the height of the website as well it does not matter okay the image will always remain as 200 pixels in width exactly are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys <clears throat> are you guys able to understand percentage and pixels great amazing guys amazing so now we need to understand <clears throat> some ideal conditions as well now when i was saying right over here that percentage is basically uh, like 50% i am writing it is according to the width of the browser i was wrong okay 
I was wrong right over there. That was just so that you guys are able to understand it. Okay, that was just so that you guys are able to understand it. Now, when you are using percentage, it is fifty like whatever percentage of the width of the parent element. Okay, do you guys remember we have talked about parent element in HTML? If you guys remember it correctly. Like I said, everything will be connecting to itself. Okay, everything whatever I've taught will start connecting from this particular point of time. Okay, if you guys remember, we had learned about the parent element. So whenever you are using pixel, so if I'm using, <clears throat> sorry, if I'm using percentage, the image is fifty percent. When I'm writing the width of the image is fifty percent, that is fifty percent with respect to the width of the parent element. Okay, of the parent element. Right now, in this particular code, can somebody let me know what is the parent element of the image tag? In this particular element, in this particular HTML code, can somebody let me know what is the parent element of the image tag? Can somebody let me know that, please? That's absolutely clever, guys. It's the body element. And what is the body element? The entire browser width. Okay, that is the reason why it is adjusting according to the width of the browser itself. Now there is one more tag that I told you that I will be telling you guys at a later point of time. That is the div tag. Now, if you want to like containerize, okay, if you want to containerize any tag, okay, if you want to put like if you want to create a bucket and put another tag inside of it, that bucket is your div tag. Div tag is nothing else but a container tag. It is used to contain different tags inside of it. For example, if I want to in, if I want to just like uh, I can just put up a div tag right over here. Remove this. Control X. Put it. Uh, so div tag does not has any special properties associated with it. Okay, div tag does not has any kind of special properties associated with it it is just used to like uh, containerize other tags okay you can put as many tags that you want inside the div tag like an h1 tag if you want to put it up right over here you can put up the h1 tag you want to put up a p tag right over here you can do that as well so a div tag can contain as many number of tags as it wants div tag is nothing else but just a container it has no sheer property of its own okay it has no other property of its own it's a normal um like tag itself it's just used to containerize different stuff now if i'm going into my styles so right now if i'm trying to draw this if i'm trying to i will go into paint and if i want to draw this right over here let me get my pen remove my coffee tablet so you will be able to see right over here that the website okay so this is the body tag okay this entire big tag is your body tag then inside of it you are having a div tag div tag is also of the almost the same width and height as the body tag itself so this is your div tag right over here div div tag and inside the div tag you are having the image tag okay inside the div tag you are having an image tag right over here the blue one is your image tag now if i'm specifying for the image tag width is equals to 50% Okay, width is equal to 50%, then it would be, okay, so shit, now that, okay, okay if I'm writing image is equal to 50%, now the image would be 50% of the width of the parent tag, which is the parent tag to the image tag right now, guys, what is the parent tag to the image tag, can somebody let me know, what is the parent tag to the image tag, can somebody let me know, The div tag absolutely so it would be 50 percent to the width of your screen itself because right now dev tag occupies the entire screen but what if i am able to say that div tag has a width of 50 percent if div tag has a width of 50 percent okay if i'm saying that div tag is a width of 50 percent what is the parent tag to the div tag can somebody let me know what is the parent tag to the div tag be prompt guys what is the parent tag to the div tag if I'm saying uh, div tag is 50%, okay, that is my body tag, absolutely clever. So now the div tag would look something like this. It will be occupy 50% of the width of the screen itself. But the image tag is also 50%. The image tag also had a width of 50%. So it would be the width of 50%. The image would be 50% of the width of the div tag. It would be 50% of the width of the div tag. That is the image would be 
वन फोर्थ ऑफ द एंटायर स्क्रीन द इमेज वुड बी वन फोर्थ ऑफ द एंटायर स्क्रीन बिकॉज फिफ्टी परसेंट इज द वेथ ऑफ द इमेज इट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वेथ ऑफ द डिव टैग इट सेल्फ इट इज हाफ ऑफ द डिव टैग एंड द डिव टैग इट सेल्फ इज फिफ्टी परसेंट विद द वेथ ऑफ द बॉडी टैग दैट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट विद द वेथ ऑफ द स्क्रीन इट सेल्फ दैट इज हाउ परसेंटेज वर्क दैट इज हाउ परसेंटेज वर्क विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पेरेंट टैग इट्स नॉट एट ऑल confusing those who are getting confused get a fucking pen and paper and jot it down write it down if i'm telling 50% of the parent as simple as that any percentage with respect to the parent check what is the width of the parent if the width of the parent is something check it with respect to the next parent and so on and so forth that is how you will be able to get the width as simple as that guys as simple as that nothing too complicated If percentage means according to the width of the parent, that is a sentence that should be jotted into your brain right now. Okay, so if I'm going to my good again, like by visuals we are able to see it. Wow, 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 very good. Okay, right now we are having a div tag right over here. <clears throat> right now you are having uh, sorry i'm so sorry right now you are having this particular code okay you are having the body tag inside of it you are having a div tag the div tag right now contains the entire width of the screen itself and then you are having the image tag right over here the image tag has been assigned with a width of let's say uh 50% okay let's put up the width of 50% right over here control s let's go back to our website let's reload the page so it is occupying 50% of the width of the screen because right now div tag is occupying 50% of the entire width of the screen itself now if i am putting up another css property so right now just because i am very i want to make it fast so i am putting up the div tag directly but you don't have to do this please use a class okay width is equals to 50% if i am doing this saving this going back to my screen rerunning my code as you are able to see now my image is 50% of the 50% of the width of the screen that is 25% of the width of the body are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys uh, uh jayesh uh, ghagi it's not dot dev because dev is directly uh, your uh, what do you say dev is a tag itself okay so it's directly a tag itself can we do with height as well yes of course you can do it with height as well if whatever i'm doing right now with width you can do the exact same with respect to the height as well but i'm just showing you the example of width so that like it's just redundant to do it once again okay but the exact same thing will work in the case of height as well are you guys able to understand this please let me know jayesh did your doubt got cleared शेड यार लाइक मुंह पे बेजती करके चले गए यार लोग ओके वेन एवर आई टीच सम पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट आई यूजली गेट अ बेट ओवर हाइप्ड आई डोंट नो व्हाई सो प्लीज बेयर विथ मी ओके ओके सो लेट्स लुक एट आई डिड नॉट गेट दी सर्टिफिकेट फॉर हॉट स्टार क्लोन आदित्य आई डोंट नो वाई डिड यू नॉट गेट दी सर्टिफिकेट्स फॉर द हॉट स्टार क्लोन एवरीबडी हैज गॉट दी सर्टिफिकेट्स फॉर द हॉट स्टार क्लोन ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट गॉट इट चेक योर स्पैम ई मेल चेक योर इफ यू हैव नॉट सेट अप दी अटेंडेंस टू हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्यूरेसी और यू हैव नॉट सबमिटेड द प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग द सेम ई मेल आई डी दैट यू यूज इन दी अटेंडेंस लिंक प्लीज चेक दैट it's an automated process there cannot be a mistake in an automated process okay so yeah if there is any problem it must be from your end not from our end okay can we upload images from our own pc yes uh, the r movies you can definitely do that okay so let's look at something else let us look at the next particular thing in the blah blah list okay so now there are uh, three other relative units that you need to know okay uh, how to add image of your pc 
<laughs> I think so. The question should be how to add an image from our PC or something like that. So let us just look at that as well. I don't know if I'm having a so right over here. Just go right over here. Okay, click on this particular upload files button. Okay, you want to click on this particular upload files button itself. When you are clicking on this upload files button, you want to select an image. So this is the new uh, like certificate that we are going to send to you guys from this particular boot camp. So I've uploaded the uh, certificate right over here. I need to I need to copy the name of the entire file. So I've copied the name of the file itself. Then I need to go into the SRC and just delete everything from right over here. and then paste the name of the file right over here okay as you're able to see i have placed the name of the file right over here uh that is present on our that i just uploaded right over here okay so i will just control s save it uh go back to my website reload the page okay and you will be able to see the image on your screen so this is the new uh, like certificate that we have created for you guys i hope that you will be liking the certificate itself okay okay so i think so that is more than enough for you guys are you able to understand it please let me know guys are you i'm so sorry are you able to understand this please let me know guys ayush raj gupta i hope that your english is very perfect i have written a small uh thing in the live chat please look at it okay Okay, amazing. Uh, so let us move on to the next particular part. Will that be fine, guys? Okay, I don't want to miss. But I like this, man. I search for Deftown and oh, dogs of Deftown. Nice. <laughs> okay. There are some memes as well by us. Noise. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I was doing, I forgot about it. Yeah, we were looking about uh, the next particular three things. So there are three other uh, relative units that we need to know about. Okay, the first one is EM. Now EM is usually uh, based off of the font size of an element. Okay. It is based off of from the font size of the element itself. Once this bootcamp is over, I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes just searching out my name on uh, Google itself. So let's see what turns up. Like, I've never tried that. <laughs> okay, so EM right over here, as you're able to see, uh, it's relative to the font size of the element. Okay, for example, let us uh, look at it uh, from the perspective of code itself that you guys are also able to understand it. So we will remove everything from right over here and we'll keep a paragraph tag that we want to see on our screen. So. I will not do it inside the bootcamp. If something wrong comes up on my name, what will I do? Wait, <laughs> everybody has gone and then I will do it. Okay, so we will have a paragraph tag right over here and we'll write a particular text uh, checking name on google let's save this let's go back to our website shit i closed my website itself let's open up the website on a new page let's close this increase the size so as you're able to see if i'm going back to my website we are getting checking my name on google right over here now if i'm increasing the size okay if i'm going into styles.css and I'm writing, I'm selecting the paragraph tag right over here. And I want to increase the font size of the paragraph tag. Okay. Um, can you guys let me know uh, what should be the CSS property that I should use for increasing the font size? Can somebody let me know, guys? Can somebody let me know? Guys, it's uh, pretty easy. You can do a small Google search as well. 
font hyphen size that's absolutely clever guys so font hyphen size and i want to have the font size hyphen size as 1 em okay 1 em basically means that whatever the current font size is i want to keep it as that itself okay uh, whatever the current font size is if the current font size is like for example 16 pixels i want to keep it at 16 pixels itself so i'm going back to my website reloading the page as you're able to see there is no apparent change as you're able to see there is no apparent change as soon as i'm clicking on 2 em as soon as i'm clicking on 2 em i'm telling the font size to be double of that before for example if the first font size was 16 pixels after applying 2 em it would be 32 pixels that is twice 16 so if i'm going back to my screen i am reloading the page as you're able to see the font size got bigger it got twice it got doubled okay if i'm putting up uh, it as 3 em can somebody let me know what will be the font size if the original font size was 16 if the original font size was 16 pixels what will be the current font size can somebody let me know It would be triple, that is 16 into 3, that is 48. So if I'm saving this, going back to my website, reloading the page, it will be triple of the first, okay? And so on and so forth. Are you guys able to understand? Are you guys able to understand this? Are you guys able to understand EM? Now, EM is usually used in places where you are using text, okay? For example, percentage is usually used when you are having images or when you are having div tags. Similar to that, you have EM when you are using text itself. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand it? Great. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Let's move on to the next particular part that is VW and VH. Like these are like the two sides of a particular coin. So if you are able to understand only one of them, you will be able to understand everything else as well. Okay. Now view port width. Okay. So V basically means in VW and VH, the V that is common basically means view port. Uh, does anybody has a good idea about what does a view port mean? Again, somebody has a good idea about what does view port mean? If you don't have an idea, we can do a Google search as well. <clears throat> I want to keep this. Okay, we'll do a Google search. Uh, view port meaning. A window in a spacecraft in uh, or in the cornering town of an oil rig. A framed area on a display screen for viewing information. That means the width of your browser itself is called as your viewport. Whatever, whatever width and height that you are having of your browser itself is called as viewport. As you are able to see a framed area on a display uh, screen for viewing information. Okay, so you are having whatever is the width of your uh, browser, width and height of your browser. That means viewport. Now viewport is exactly similar to person percentage like they are like brothers to each other the only difference between viewport and percentage is while percentage checks the percentage with respect to the parent element viewport checks the percentage with respect to the viewport that is the width of the browser and the height of the browser irrespective of the parent are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys percentage checks the percentage width and height on the basis of the immediate parent whereas viewport width and viewport height checks the width of the image or whatever the thing is or the height of the image or whatever the thing is with respect to the browser width and height irrespective of what is the parent so let us look at that from a coding perspective as well so again, we will be having our image tag. Let me just remove everything from right over here. Okay, so this is the image right over here. Let's save this. Go back to our website, reload the page. Let's see if the image is coming on our screen. Let's decrease the width to 100%. 
okay so this is the image now we are going into our styles we are going to have dot dev right over here and we are going to assign it a viewport so first of all we need to have the div tag first for the div tag let's make it 50 percent width 50 percent okay so first of all the div tag that uh, is encompassing our uh, image tag is having a width of 50 percent so that is the first thing that we did and for the div tag that is our image itself okay so don't so, sorry 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 for not for the div tag the tag the image tag with the class of dev okay we are going to put up the width as let's say 75 em we are going to put up the width as 75 v w okay viewport width okay so we are going to have the div tag as 50 percent of the width of the screen okay we are going to have the div tag as 50 percent of the width of the screen itself but the div tag okay div tag that is the image tag as the width of 75 vw what do you think guys will happen right over here what will be the size of the div tag and what will be the size of the image tag can somebody let me know what will be the size of the div tag and what will be the size of the image tag can somebody let me know guys can somebody let me know come on guys come on be fast Fuck is my live chat. Sovik Maji, come on man, that answer is wrong, Sovik. Sovik, what happened? Did you not were you not able to understand it? Please let me know, guys. Sovik? Let's save this. Let's see what happens. Like I was not very sure about it. And yes. Although the div tag occupies just 50% of the width of the screen, if you want to check that, we can do that as well if we are able to open this little, little, little. Okay, as you're able to see, the image tag occupies 75% of the width of the screen uh, but the div tag still occupies 50 percent and that is the beauty of vh and vw it works according to the viewport itself okay okay great so the next thing that we want to look at is so vh and vw both works the exact same way with respect to the height of the website itself okay okay uh, em i also don't remember the full form for em you can just check it on youtube or google itself okay i also am not very uh like i don't remember the full form of em okay okay the next is like the uh, css absolute units so we discussed about pixels inches centimeters and millimeters uh, are present right over there as well so there's not a lot uh, that we need to talk about right over there so can you give a complete roadmap to become a full stack developer that is what i will be doing right now don't worry about it okay so let us start with understanding about the same as well and i want to make a google search about my name like let, let me just do one thing Oh yeah. Oh, my image is also there. Nice. Okay, now that I'm happy, let's start off with the next thing. <laughs> okay, so let me just uh, close this up. Now, <clears throat> can you guys write in the uh live chat in which year of college are you uh, in right now can you guys write in the live chat uh, in which year of college are you right now second year third year second year third year second year third year second year third year first year Ignu BCA, second year, fourth year, third year, fourth year, third year, second year, 
first year okay so most of you are either in your like you are in your college itself okay that is what i'm considering right now and on the basis of that itself i'm telling you guys the entire pathway okay for anybody who wants to become a full stack web developer okay anybody who wants to develop become a full stack web developer i'm talking about them there are two different career paths that you can take up okay and of course you can do both of them together as well that is totally up to you there are two different career paths either you can become a freelancer or you can become a like employee that is you look for a job or something like that now to become a freelancer you just need to know full stack web development in its entirety in its entirety guys okay you need to know front-end web development back-end web development devops cloud computing everything everything is what you need to learn okay whereas a particular person who is applying for a job okay because right now it's not just that he needs to learn full stack web development that is of, of course very essential but they also need to learn about data structures and algorithms competitive programming and then full stack web development these are all the three things that you need to learn for getting a job now the job as well is of two types okay you are having the jobs in companies like wipro or like infosys or tcs or some small scale startups are there like if you want to get a job at dev town okay although we are not hiring right now but yeah there are conditions in which like the small scale startups are also coming into the same lane these will offer you less than or equal to six lakhs per annum Say, uh, six lakhs per annum that is what it would be they will be uh, giving you maximum to maximum and then there are the big tire companies like oracle google uh then you are having uh, companies like amazon samsung microsoft flipkart so all these type of big name companies are there they will be offering you above like 12 to 13 lakhs per annum okay greater than that of course and the in this particular case in companies like wipro infosys tcs dev town or other small scale startups as well you would have to learn data structures and algorithm uh, like full stack web development only full stack web development will be more than sufficient to get into these companies but if you are planning to get into these big tire companies itself if you want to get into these big tire companies like google microsoft and the others you need to focus upon data structures and algorithms competitive programming as well as full stack web development even skipping one of them won't qualify you for these jobs i'm telling you very frankly okay i'm not a youtuber or something like that what i'm telling you is facts okay because i have been hiring for these companies okay uh the previous batch that we just graduated right now we got 800 students placed with an annual salary of 13.3 lakhs per annum that is what their average salary was 800 students in full stack web development in data science it was a bit less it was 12.7 lakhs per annum but we got students placed right over there as well so you are able to understand that these companies aren't going to hire like everybody is applying for these companies you have to stand out from the rest of the crowd to get into these companies itself and don't fucking ask me this particular question that which language should i prefer i know more than 12 different languages i won't get selected i won't even get shortlisted for any of these companies they don't like how fluent are you in like speaking 15 different languages this is not not what they care about at all if it's just like you gave your j mains and advance i'm right you at least tried to give your j mains and advance at some point of time in your entire like you thought about giving it at least okay you know how much difficult it was even if you are the greatest physicist on the entire planet if you are poor in chemistry and maths you will never get get into iit or nit you will never get into it okay so that is the same thing right now with getting into these companies as well it has become a competitive exam nothing more than that it has a proper syllabus it has a proper path that you have to follow a proper set of questions that you have to follow and only then only then you will be able to get into these companies it it is the truth right now early on it used to be the case that um, google had its like fubar exams and all those kind of stuff they have closed it they have closed it for the past five years right now it is nothing more than a competitive exam if you are not able to do it if you're not able to study for it there's nothing that you can do for the same as well okay 
and those who are interested to watch movies and everything they will never get into it as well okay that is the fact okay we delete it okay so now for the preparation for the same as well i will tell you guys the same okay so why i am saying all these topics let me first explain it to you uh, any company okay like uh, i will just let you guys know that as well so that most of the questions that are common are uh, stopping right now listen to me very carefully okay i will be seeing your answer questions as well first of all listen to me very 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 carefully okay let me just show it to you guys forms as you are able to see right over here in the past one year we have placed more than 4000 students into different companies okay so whatever i'm saying right now i'm giving you the full proof idea that you have to just follow blindly you just have to follow blindly i'm not the kind of person who will be saying that next js be kar lo you do uh, like django as well you do this as well you do that as well there's only one path right now you don't have enough time that you are able to do everything whichever company that you are going they will be using a different tech stack they are not going to use whatever you guys are seeing right now in the entire youtube okay they are not going to use that no company is that foolish to be doing that try to understand this they have their own tech stack that they will be using so and each project that they will be having in that particular tech stack will be different right over there okay so what i am telling you right now is how to get through the competitive examination and into that company as you able to see we have got students in microsoft gap in google amazon samsung jio flipkart oracle walmart dutch bank every single company that you can think about this particular time when we were hired, like getting hired like 800 students that we got placed okay nine of them went into microsoft seven got into google with google are giving the highest placement of 60 lakhs per annum that was the placement that was given by uh, google amazon got only nine students placed but think about this as well the students who got placed into microsoft google and amazon they were not just from csc background one of the person was a merchant navy okay he ha he had been working in as a merchant navy as well and he wanted to shift to the it sector he got placed into amazon there was one person who got placed into microsoft he was from chemical there was one person who got placed into samsung he was from a commerce background these companies don't care just keep this out of your mind if anybody is saying that they care about where you are from csc or it they don't care about it okay they care about only one thing whether you have the right skill set and the knowledge or not if you have it you are most welcome just give the exam pass in it come into and work for us if you are not able to pass the examinations just fuck off okay that is what they are planning right now the second thing that anybody who is telling you that cgpa does not matter is bullshitting you anybody okay i'm like i said i'm not a youtuber ki like a person with 6 gpa also got into goldman sachs i have also seen that but that is one in like a 1000 or 5000 students you are not that one into 5000 students otherwise you won't be here in this boot camp okay those guys don't need any kind of support or mentorship they do it on their own that is a very like i'm telling you i'm though i don't believe myself to be in that one percent i'm always like whatever happens in life i am in the crowd itself i have to be in the crowd itself if something good happens with me that's good but i will never treat myself to be in the one percent and never treat anybody else as well anybody who is telling you that cgpa does not matter just give them the finger and move away from them they are not the right kind of person who will be guiding you cgpa matters it does not matter from which branch are you from whether you are doing bsc bca mca btech anything that you are doing cgpa matters it showcases the company that whatever task has been given to you you give your 100% into it or not that is where the cgpa matters it is not something that if it is low then it's like yeah are bhai you will never be able to succeed that is not what i'm telling you but there is some weightage to your cgpa maybe just 5% or maybe just 3% but it is there okay so never forget that okay the second thing that you have to focus upon is if your cgpa should be if you are greater than 7.5 you are in the safe zone if your cgpa is greater than 7.5 you are in the safe zone you don't have to worry about it okay for those who are having cgpa less than 
try to make sure that your skill sets and your knowledge in other matters is exceeding far beyond so that your cgpa can be overlooked if you are just an average kind of person your cgpa will matter if you are brilliant your cgpa can be overlooked by the other students as well okay so you have to keep that in mind guys don't be foolish if somebody is telling you, I've seen students who are like, sir, my senior told me that CGPA does not matter. I'm just doing this and that. I'm like, dude, like I'm, I'm able to understand like the topper of my college who had like 9.2 GPA didn't even got placed. But the person who got placed into Google, that was the second topper in our college. So that is the thing, like it's not necessary that if you have a good GPA, you will get into a good company, but you need to maintain a respectable GPA as well. It showcases that you are a consistent hard work. Okay. You are a consistent hard worker. Okay. Uh, mine was 8.45, 8.45, 8.46. Okay. So like I said, 7.5 and above, it's good. You are in the safe zone. Just focus upon your other things. But if you are below like 7.5, you are in the like dark area. Okay. You need to make sure that it's above 7.5 at least. Okay. Okay. So now the next thing that we need to focus upon is like the process of getting selected into the big tire companies. Now for the tire, small tire companies as well, uh, I will be telling you guys, like it's just like full stack web development. If you're good at it, you can just get into it. There's no issues right over there, but for the big uh, companies, okay. For the big companies right over there, 10th and 12th standard marks do not matter. Okay. Anybody who still, yes, they matter in MBA. If you're going for MBA, 10th and 12th standard marks will matter. But for BTEC students means like those who are as freshers, graduation, getting into an IT job, it does not matter. Okay. Uh, so right over here, like I said, those who are not interested to listen to it, I really don't give a lot about you. Okay. My job is to basically open your eyes. Those students who think that getting a job is easy, come and see what is happening in Bangalore. People are not getting jobs. People are getting jobs of like three lakhs per annum. Like, but the, one of the most important things that I feel is you need to decide what you want to do in your life and you waste four years of your life, get nowhere, get into a job that pays you like three lakhs per annum. Uh, that's totally up to you. Or you want to really utilize these four years of your life, put some work behind it, leave your friends out of the equation, get into a job that is paying you three lakh rupees per, per month. Okay. And then you are able to make friends as well. Some high quality friends. Okay. It is not that Google has like nobody is interacting with each other. Every fucking weekend I have a party at my house where I'm getting like I'm bringing in people from Google, Microsoft, Atlassian. We are getting people from Deloitte. They come to my house and we have a party. It's, it's not that we are not enjoying our lives. Yes. For the four years we had given up a sacrifice and we waited to get a good placement and we got a great placement as well. But that is a choice up to you. You want to regret your four years of enjoyment for 12 years of being miserable. Okay. That is up to you, not up to us. Okay. Okay. So right over here, uh, let's see the, uh, pa like what is the process of these companies right now? So first of all, uh, resume based shortlisting. Okay. Resume based shortlisting. That is the first thing that we will be doing. Now try to understand it. Google receives 1.5 million applications every single, like half a year, like every quarter, every, in the, every six months, they receive 1.5 million applications. Do they have enough time to go through 1.5 million applications? Like just think about it, like from a logical standpoint, of course not. They don't have that kind of time. So there's something called as a resume parser that they are having, like a board that basically goes through a resume and basically divided that whether they should go further or not. Okay. That is what they are having right over there. Now your resumes are not your matrimonial, uh, uh, like application that this is my face. This is my address. Don't do that. Okay. It's not a matrimonial application that you're sending to a company. They don't matter how you look like, okay. It does not matter to them. And of course, nobody's no human is going to see it. It needs to be as simple as possible. It's need to be as simple as possible. Just keep the text to like 11 pixels. Only black and gray font should be used. It should be as neat and clean as possible. It should include your details like your name. Okay. It should uh, include details like your GPA. Okay. It should uh, overall GPA. Don't put your every semester GPA. I don't care about that. You need to put up your mobile number and your official email ID where they can reach out to you. You need to put up any kind of work experience that you are having any type of trainings that you have done 
if you have not done anything mention the projects that you have worked upon any kind of achievements that you are having okay if you don't have any achievements try to like just put something that describes you okay give a one liner uh, description at the top okay about yourself that i am so and so and i like doing this now keep it company specific okay for example for every company that i was applying okay every company that i was applying i was trying to make sure that my resume was matching like their aspirations a lot for example if it's a medical company then i will be changing my projects according to that if it's more of a like uh, e-commerce company i will be changing my resume according to that i will be including projects don't include all your projects i had almost 500 projects that i completed in college i cannot include 500 projects in my like resume they will just throw the entire thing out they don't want to read a book so you need to make sure that your resumes are something that is catered towards the company that you are applying for it's a bit of hard work but it will work most of the time okay uh okay so right now first thing is resume don't try to make it like shiny and designer and something like that keep it as neat and clean and as organized as basic as possible okay okay now once your resume has been selected you will get a link for an examination an online examination uh, that you are having right over there so in the online examination that you have you have to focus upon so i will be taking up your uh, like answer questions as well please just wait for five more minutes i'm able to complete this and i will be taking your questions okay will that be fine with you guys please let me know okay so right over here uh, the second point you will get an online test that you will have to give from your house or maybe in your college or something like that so as you're able to see this online test that you will be having it will be based on your competitive programming skills okay this online so it will be like three coding questions that you have to solve in like uh, 60 minutes or something like that okay now this cp to understand what is cp okay to understand what is cp right over there you first need to do data structures and algorithms so data structures and algorithms is the base upon which you will do competitive programming now data structures and algorithms again don't ask me sir can i do this particular language can i do that particular language don't ask me that particular question i'm telling you if i wanted to make sure that that language is included i would have written right over here i'm telling you you need to choose between java or c plus plus no other language no c no python no javascript nothing like that choose between java and c plus plus and never ever mention javascript on your resume till this particular point of time i never mentioned javascript on my resume never ever i made that grave mistake of mentioning it once on my resume javascript and python are such a deep language that they can just like open up your entire brain and pick around everything that is there you will not even know what hit you like a truck okay so don't do that always do it in java and c plus plus they have less number of concepts in them and easier to understand it along with the code okay so even if they are trying to ask you questions 90 percent of the questions you will be able to answer it directly always choose something that is very easy java and c plus plus and mention that on your resume that this is the language of choice that i'm having when i do dsa and cp okay never mention your development languages on your resume always mention just the projects on your resume okay you you don't know that particular technique technology or that particular thing in a lot of depth okay so they you do not never want to mention it on your resume as well okay so put up your certificates that you have got put up your projects that you have got to showcase your skills in javascript and python if you want to show never mention it in your resume as the skill set that you are having okay so c uh, cp for cp practicing cp i will suggest you guys either lead code or uh, code chef now for lead code and code chef between these two okay if you are able to do good in that then you can proceed to code forces as well but uh, don't use hacker or hacker rank they just give you a false sense of entitlement that you know shit when you don't know anything okay so don't use code chef uh, uh, sorry don't use hacker earth and hacker rank like it's like the like uh, giving a lollipop to a child and telling them oh, hey, you are doing very good very good like when he's not doing anything right over there okay you have to start with either lead code or code chef now i'm not affiliated to these companies as well okay but this is my own personal suggestion to you guys if you want to follow it that's great you'll be able to do a lot good in that okay but go with lead code and code chef if you are able to go do good in both these platforms then only go to code forces do not directly go to code forces itself okay otherwise it would be 
very 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 difficult for you guys now app wops uh, i know that you have a backlog right over there so you can just directly just leave it okay because with backlogs it becomes extremely difficult to get into a good company because then they basically see that you have a black dot right over there okay basically you have a backlog in whatever you are doing okay so i'm currently uh, studying dsa and c in my college how should i uh, do dsa in uh, java or c plus plus just start with it okay कोर्ट शेफ इसको पैसा देता है अरे यार मेरा बैंक अकाउंट चेक कर लो यार मेरे कंपनी मेरे को पैसा देता है हर महीना बस उतना ही काफ़ी है मेरे लिए <laughs> मेरे को उसके ऊपर और पैसा नहीं चाहिए वो चाहिए रहता तो मैं बहुत पैसा कमा चुका रहता अभी तक मैं फ्रीलांसिंग करता हूँ यार मैं इतना सारा फ्रीलांसिंग प्रोजेक्ट करता हूँ आई हैव मोर देन सफिशियंट मनी आई नेवर केयर अबाउट मनी लाइक वाई वुड आइज बी सजेस्टिंग लीड कोर्ट देन गोल्ड शेफ एंड देन गोल्ड फोर्स ऑल दीज आर थ्री डिफरेंट कंपनीज राइट ओवर देर Why would I suggest three different companies to you? Why not just like tell you that oh yeah, you should do code forces or only code chef? <laughs> I am I don't have any kind of uh, thing right over there. Okay. Okay. So uh, that is one of the things. Now for data structures and algorithms, it's mostly concepts and practice that you need to do. Choose a good platform. If you don't have a good platform, just get like a spodge list or something like that. Just solve these podge list for data structures and algorithms. You will be able to do it properly. But choose between C plus plus and Java. Don't use any other languages. Give me five minutes, guys. This is almost over. Then I will be handling the questions. Don't worry about it. Okay. So the third thing after qualifying in the online round, you are having your interviews. Now there will be three basic interviews that will be having. Interview one, interview two, and interview three. Okay, in your interview one, uh, of course, in companies like Google, there will be multiple interviews. Like in my case, there was like six interviews in Google. Only then I had to go into the HR round. So, but in an average, three interviews would be there. The first interview would be of data structures and algorithms to check whether you have cheated in the competitive programming round or not. Okay, to check whether you have been you have been cheating in the competitive programming round or not. So that is where you are having data structures and algorithms interview. So there will be a person sitting in front of you. He will be asking you. Questions and it will be telling you to code in in front of him itself. So in that particular way, the first round is data structures and algorithms to check whether you are cheated or not. The second round is where your projects will be looked at. This is where it is decided whether you they want to continue with you like like you they want to take you into the company or not. Okay, that is where the project comes into place. That is the interview two, and then you are having the interview three. That is the HR interview. That is basically your communication skills. That where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, what was a particular point in time when you had to showcase your leadership skills and so on and so forth. So that like it's a list of like a thirty forty questions. You can just read it out. Just make some scenarios in your mind and just go right over there. Okay, most of the people. People just lie with a straight face inside that particular uh, interview. I also have done many a times. Uh, so, so, like, of course, they also get it. Okay, they also not expecting you to basically have uh, like a story every single time they are asking a question. Okay, it's just not possible. But yeah, you can do that. Okay. So this is the entire process, and this project is where your full stack web development skills need to be showcased. If you want to get into full stack web development, okay, uh, so that is where you need to showcase this entire thing. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Can you uh, describe freelancing in a few words? Uh, it's ab absolutely simple. Like there are websites like Fiverr. So what I use is Fiverr. I use uh, Bwork. I use uh, Freelancer. dot com. These are three of the websites that I use, where I go and put my like e I work upon full stack web developer. and as well as an ml engineer as well as a data analyst right over there then clients will be approaching me with some projects that i have this particular project could you do it for me they usually like i have been doing it for a quite some while so right now per project i am charging about 1 lakh rupees uh, so i have to give like almost 15 to 20 days to complete a project as well which is usually very fine with me so that is how you usually get freelancing projects sometimes the clients will then retain you for the project for a very long period of time then you have to be on that project uh so it's basically like you're working on your own okay it's your own small firm that you're currently running okay uh yes i'm do currently doing a full time job i'm freelancing as well as i'm teaching here so if i'm able to do it i can understand you guys will also be able to do it your only friend is coffee 
okay uh, so it is a huge competition in full stack as right now everybody is doing the same so how can we get different from others gazal bandi i'm so sorry i was not able to like see your question i have seen your question for a very long period of time an excellent question right over there that is what i will be telling you guys right now but i'm not good uh, so how much time do we need to give for cp two hours every single day okay just make sure of this okay every single day fix a time two hours 10 to uh, 12 i won't be doing anything if there is an earthquake if there's a flood if there's my birthday party anything that is happening right over there i don't care about it 2 hours 10 to 12 i'll be sitting and i'll be doing my project uh, i will be doing cp right over there that is what you have to do okay so can i get a job to bsc information technology yes of course jeba i have already said that it does not matter from which branch or which field you are in you just need to make sure that you have the right skill sets okay so let me first uh, try to make sure that you guys are able to understand uh, okay so right now everybody you would be seeing will be like i am currently doing full stack web development okay and when you ask them that okay what are you currently doing in full stack web development they will be telling you only one thing that is moon stack right now there are 10000 jobs that are available in full stack web development okay just taking a random example this is not the exact number i'm just taking a random example just to make you guys understand this concept there are 10000 jobs that are available in full stack web development now most of the people who are currently doing web development will be doing moon stack and that is like 1 lakh people 1 lakh people from uh, across like the country is currently doing full stack web development in moon stack what they are not doing along the same is devops and cloud so what has happened right now is people have made this not people basically the companies that are selling you courses have made this as a thing that a cloud developer is separate a devops engineer is separate a full stack web developer is separate but the reality of this is just think about it would you hire three different people at 20 lakhs per annum one just for web development one just for devops and one just for cloud or will it be better to hire just one person at 30 lakhs per annum to handle all the three things for you can you guys let me know what is better guys can you guys let me know to have three people or just to have one person of course to have one person now if i am giving if you are the person who is providing these jobs there are just like 100 to 200 people right now in the entire industry who actually know moon stack devops and cloud and not individually how to integrate these technologies together okay how to integrate these three technologies together to make an excellent product these are usually what we refer to them as unofficially is as product engineers we in uh, like our own tech circle in most startups we refer them to as uh, product engineers okay so these are people who can who are like an entire like a entire it sector itself they can do anything like one man army sort of structure now that is what i usually suggest the students as well you don't require in web slip the web development you don't require 50 different projects na 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 it's a waste of your time if you are having like three projects in full stack three projects in devops three projects in cloud nobody cares about it okay that means that you are just following some tutorials and making those projects what you need is just one mega project that like focuses upon everything okay one project for example just take up like an uh, zomato clone okay for example in our training program we have the zomato clone so we make this uh, students do the front end in react okay the back end in express mongodb and node js then we help them deploy the entire thing to aws that is the amazon web services then that is the cloud uh, now after that we then help them orchestrate the entire thing that is the devops we help them set up the docker comp- components we help them set up the kubernetes cluster we help them set up the ci cd pipelining so they are actually making the entire clone 
the entire functioning clone production level code of the entire zomato application that you guys are doing now a particular person like that will always be preferred over any other student because he himself has created an entire product on his own that is the quality of project that you need to have and see web development project is not something that this entire project you can do it in like two days or something like that it takes three months to complete this one project three months to complete one project in web development that is the amount of time that it takes so it is not logical as well to create like five different projects you need to work on just creating one mega project that showcases every single skill that you are having every single skill that you are having is able to showcase that right over there are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. So try to focus upon that, guys. Try to focus upon making sure that you are in this 100 to 200 students where you are applying for a job. That job is basically telling you that your provider is telling you that you see the package we will take you in. That should be the quality of work that you are doing at any point of time. Okay. No, Monsac does not mean the person who knows HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, that is somebody who is in 10 standard. Okay, that's the basic uh, thing right over there. Okay, so let me show you like what are the different things that you need to learn as well. I have the syllabus with me. Let me just show it to you guys. First, you need to choose between the languages that is C++ or Java. Okay, choose between one of those languages. Start learning that language itself. Then inside of your uh, data structures, algorithms and competitive programming, you need to cover all these topics. Okay, you need to cover introduction to programming in C++, mathematics, bit manipulation, recursion, array, searching, sorting, matrix, hashing, blah, 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 blah. All these different things you have to cover it right over there. Okay, then the next thing that you have to cover is the basics. Now, this is called as the basics of web development okay so for example HTTP protocols are there html css git github version control just focus upon this all your questions will be answered okay then uh, responsive design with css grid and box layouts tailwind css bootstrap css and javascript es6 these are considered as the basics of web development okay basics this is what you need to know to start web development itself okay uh, then the next thing that you need to learn about is front end web development with react js okay front end web development with react js right over there so you are having like getting started with react component lifecycle models react functional components webpack using third party components styling react routing in react react hooks state management in react and redux connecting to backend you need to make sure that you are doing some projects on that particular topic as well okay so for example we make two projects right over there the uh, book my show clone so that is the front end of the book my show and then the zomato clone so that is the front end of the zomato application that you are currently using using react js now after that you need to start off with your backend web development in backend web development you need to focus upon node.js express microservices so always focus upon microservices guys don't go with a monolithic architecture go with microservices it's very important with node and express integrating mongodb validation and error handling building restful apis with node express and mongodb authentication and security of your servers so this is also very important right over here okay uh once i've completed backend for example we focus upon the backend of the book my show clone as well as the backend for the zomato application so that you guys are able to put up a hands-on practice about what you are currently doing okay the next thing is the devops okay devops is extremely important okay docker and containers building and manipulating single and multiple containers with docker docker volume docker compose synchronizing an application with docker securing with sync automation with ci cd cid cd service setup right ci cd scripts automate deployments and testing with continuous integration and continuous deployment right over there okay so this is very important guys try to focus upon this okay if you're not doing it it's something like you're just missing out you're just in the the crowd itself up till now like the entire thing that i said before devops everybody knows that you have to stand out from the same itself okay 
then you have to go into kubernetes uh, cust uh, container orchestration kate uh, commands multiple container types with kates ingress to handle traffic deployment with kates custom domains and ssl https okay along with that okay along with that you also have to look into your aws okay so of course like when you are doing devops you cannot like just just do devops you have to deploy it as well so for example i will suggest you guys to go with aws okay we go with aws because almost every company will use aws and everything that is present on aws is also available on gcp and azure so that is the reason why we go with aws itself because it's the most foolproof plan okay, it's the most foolproof plan right over there okay are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys uh code bulletin you can just go to our website if that's the case okay devtown.in you will be able to find the reviews for our program right over there itself by our previous students uh those students who have got plays so that so this are all the uh, responses our graduates have given us right over here okay so you can definitely go through the same as well we have some video testimonials as well but yeah you can definitely go through the same now for those students who are like is said that this isn't something that you should be doing okay it is something that you should be doing okay so just focus upon it do it yourself okay uh the syllabus has been provided to you guys with a lifetime actually you can just go through the syllabus just paste it on your wall itself and then check mark everything that you are currently doing make a timetable about how you are going to handle things okay for example two hours for web development then i'll be giving two hours for cp and dsa just make sure that you are able to do everything right over there okay so just try to make sure that you are denoting enough time to everything and just like click on everything right over there okay but for those who want to join the program okay so i'm i know that we um we started devop town because i was the particular person who needed mentorship when i was in college but i never received one except for one of the like seniors that i had he's currently like he worked in microsoft and now he's in uh, michigan university so i am really very thankful for him to be my mentor and i realized how important it is to have a good mentor who continuously supports you and push you in the right direction itself because of course he was also not able to give a lot of time to me but like in one or three months it he would usually come up to my room and help me out with everything that is the reason why we started dev town as well now i am able to understand that people directly from google aren't going to come and teach you guys for free so uh, these are some of my friends right over here so either we were friends in like some where that i worked or from my college itself so i got to know these amazing people arandan nukun from google we have dipen from amazon harsh akshat from google ritik kumar who is currently the world top 100 in lead code as well as code chef uh in competitive programming so we have khushbu tanyal from mckinsey and company uh, morgan stanley krishna we have madhav from american express nandini from google nikhil from sony right now he has shifted to some other company uh, we have nikhil bhartwal from google again pavan who is one of my friends rahul from goldman sachs uh, uh, sahil rehman from hp and porsche uh, currently working in uh, mojo insta mojo uh, then you are having me from chio vishal jain from oracle and uh, shushant shukla from cisco so these are all the mentors that we are having into the program so what we have built right over here is for a duration of 3 months we teach you everything from the utmost basics the only prerequisite that we need is that you need to understand english because the entire mode of communication would be in english because it, the interviews would go on in english itself so the entire prerequisite is english everything else from scratch will be teaching you in class whether it be c++ or java whether it be data structures and algorithms whether it be competitive programming whether it be full stack web development everything that i mentioned in this pdf everything will be taught to you from scratch in the class for 3 months now the entire program is live that is conducted usually after 7 o'clock in the evening because of course these are all the people are currently working in different companies so they don't have the time in the morning so we have all these people who will be teaching you guys in the evening after 7 o'clock like around 7 or 8 o'clock every day for 2 hours live on zoom so it's a live classes every single day for 2 hours 
hours after seven o'clock in the evening where these instructors will be teaching you all the topics now yes you will be having c plus plus java data structures algorithms competitive programming two hours of live classes five to six days a week for three months continuously usually it goes out to about 3.5 months but we say three months because that is our aim but we usually extend it to like three and a half months itself to complete it properly the we will include interview preparation resume building github and linkedin preparation uh, mock interviews would be there now the placements that we provide through this particular program are in three particular ways the first is if you are doing good in the class itself and the mentor is able to see that you are doing good he directly provides you with referrals to his company the second way is we have our partnership with different companies like google microsoft and many more who directly hires from us so for example google said that they will be hiring five students from us the previous hiring season they hired seven from us microsoft said they will have five they hired nine and so on and so forth so we have like different uh uh like collaborations with companies that have from us yes they provide us with some like help as well in the same uh then after that we are having our own online portal where you guys can apply for different companies and get selected right over there so these are the three things that we have we have a 98.5 percent placement uh like for the last batch itself that is the particular thing that we are having we had students from first year second year third year fourth year graduates but we don't accept students who are not in college like who are currently in, haven't gone to college like 10th 11th 12th standard students we don't ex ex expect them like they are totally bland, banned for the entire thing they should be focusing upon their j mains or advanced not this the second thing is uh, there's a cost to this particular program of course because uh, i will not be paying <laughs> these two uh, teachers to out of my own pocket the cost of each of these teachers like these teachers uh, charges us about 5500 rupees approximately per student okay that is the cost that they are having okay so we charge them directly from you guys with additional gst that comes up to 7500 rupees for the entire three months program that is the cost that we are having of course like like i said we cannot like just uh give the money out of our, our own pockets and nobody is going to come from google to teach you guys for three months for free like i tried that i asked them but it isn't possible for so many number of students itself so that is the costing that are there right over there okay so it is uh 7500 for the entire three months um on a monthly basis you can calculate what is the cost i will not be able to remember that okay uh yeah and that is including the gst as well so that is the entire program that we are having there are two batches that are going to start one of the batches is going to start from the 30th of july and the second batch is going to start from the 15th of august so we are having these two uh batches that we are having right now now like i said we are a non-profit platform we don't take any profits from the same and we don't want you guys to like put on money somewhere else as well so that is the reason why when you are graduating from any of the programs we provide you guys with two extra courses for free the first course is the data science course and the second one is the cyber security program so these are the two programs that we provide you guys for free so that at any point of time okay that you want to revise something or you want to learn a new technology you are able to do that okay so you don't have to uh like pay again or something like that okay currently we only have uh two programs okay so that is the reason why like right now we are going to start from either 30th of uh july and then the next batch is going to start from the 15th of august okay the classes are online conducted on zoom okay once the class is over that is a live class we'll be providing you guys with the class recordings as well so you don't have to worry about it the class will have uh two particular like uh there are almost 60 to 70 students in each class that are there so because we need to make sure that the teacher is able to provide individual attention to the students as well so that is how we are able to maintain like the costs and everything for the same now as you're able to see like uh, i basically thought that this must be existing somewhere else as well so i started searching for the same as well i came to know about coding ninjas as well as one more company uh scalar academy so if you are able to see like if i'm going with full stack moon stack basically they do not have uh, devops or something like that so the cost for the program is 58,999 and that too isn't live that is basically video recordings that they are sharing with you 
so that is the reason why we started like and the scalar academy is like just mind blowing 2.5 lakhs per for the program itself so that is the reason why we thought that we should yes of course we cannot do it for free because how will i be paying the instructors i don't have any money that i can pay the instructors uh, the salaries of course i'm not going to pay from my own pocket so that is the reason why we have the cost as 7500 rupees um right over there so that we are able to pay the taxes as well as the instructor okay so how to start dsa cpi and full stack web development if i am in your first year from the starting dimple i have provided you the syllabus right over here you can just follow it from right over there itself okay 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 like i said there are limited number of uh, seats available for the same itself i need to know how many students are uh, like interested in the same itself those who are interested 75 7500 that is 7500 rupees okay for 3 months 7500 rupees for 3 months okay not per month for 3 months for the entire thing okay okay so i need to know how many students are interested in the same because according to that we'll have to see whether we need to start a new batch or not so people who are interested for the same can you guys let me know right over here how many students had enrolled last year about 5000 students out of which 4800 students got placement so that is no it is 7500 rupees for the entire 3 months so per month it is like 2600 or 2700 rupees okay it's Three months, right over there. Everything is available for free on the internet. That's absolutely true. But if you are able to do it right over there, then I definitely suggest you to try because I had tried, and it took me four and a half years to be able to do that. So that is the reason why we started out with this because people need mentorship. If I was like given this kind of stuff when I was in college, I would have been somewhere else. Means like, yeah, I got everything that I needed at any point of time, but still. <laughs> and yes like i understand that many of you require to submit an internship certificate as well so we have definitely made sure that that is also given to you so an internship certificate as a letter of recommendation as well have will be provided to you at the end of the training program as well so you don't have to worry about it okay and yes it is for beginners the only prerequisite is that you should be able to understand english okay uh you need to understand english right over there okay that's that's really important for us again i don't want students to be enrolling into the program if you are going on our website you will be able to see that we have put up the cost right over there as 10000 rupees so that nobody is enrolling into the program except for the boot camp students because see if you are enrolling the program i am expecting you to give 3 months of your time dedicated to just the program only and nothing else 3 months of your life and your time only to the program not to your friends not to anything else not to any kind of party not to anything else 3 months of your life to the program because see it is going we are going to give our 100% but if you are not ready to give your 100% this program does not make any sense for anybody spend that 7000 rupees on a party spend that 7000 rupees getting us lifetime uh, membership to maybe netflix hotstar prime and everything else as well enjoy don't come up you can do this on your own as well like somebody had said this program we only want students who are really like ready to do it because see once that is the reason why we don't have any kind of like pre enrollment or question paper or something like that to check whether you are good or not i need to make sure that you are getting placed because for me the companies will only be coming to me to get students more and more number of students getting placed through me if i am able to provide them with the best quality students if i'm not able to be able to do that they won't be coming from the next time Google said for five students hired seven. Microsoft said for five students hired nine from us. I had made up to my promise to them. Now this time I know that they will be coming. They will be hiring more students from me. But that is only the case if the students who are coming to this uh, program are of the topmost level. Like they need to be just hardworking. It's not not everybody is bright. I never consider myself to be bright at all. I was one of the most dumb-witted students in my class. But it was just the persistent hard work that I was able to reach where I am. I was not on the level of my friends who were doing CP and DS at any point of time, but I used to work harder than any of them. Now that is what you have to do as well. If you're not ready to put in the hard work, man, like leave it. Like IT is not for you. Maybe you are brilliant. Maybe you just have to study for one hour and you will be able to get into Google as well. But not most of the students are like me. They have to study for five to six hours a day so that they are able to reach a particular level. 
and yes a particular person who is continuously motivating them continuously pushing them into the right path continuously like beating their ass off every single day that why have you not finished your assignment is the only way for these students to reach their own potential for students who are in the first second and third year we make them work for different companies for example when you are completing the program you will get an internship by these companies for two months the first and second years get an internship for two months for their summer vacation the third year students get a six months internship for their six months internship that comes up in their fourth year and then the fourth year students get placements for the students who are in the second year if they are doing good these two months of internship that is there with a big company that they are getting paid for okay if you are doing good right over there then you get placements okay that is the process if you guys don't know about it please uh, contact your seniors this is the thing that happens right over there okay so in, if you're in your first and second year if you're getting a two months internship it is 90 percent guaranteed that you're getting placed right over there but then you just have to showcase your work in that company whatever they're teaching you whatever they're doing you're doing right over there that is very important okay like i said it does not matter from which college which branch which anything that you have if you are the right skill set the right uh, knowledge that is the most important thing okay focus upon that as well okay like i said code bulletin we had 5000 students upon which we placed 4800 of them okay okay so uh, I will be sending you guys the link for uh, see right, again right now as well I'm not going to provide you the link to register I will first provide you a link where you can talk to some particular mentor about yourself okay what questions that you are having and everything so that if you guys have any questions anything like that I'm able to help you guys out right over there so I'm going to provide you guys with a proper uh, WhatsApp link. Okay, either me or someone from my team uh, would be helping you guys right over there uh, in like which particular thing that you should be selecting. If this program is good enough for you or not, if there is some other things that you should be working upon. Okay, so that is how we will be operating because like I said, I don't have any particular interest in earning money I'm, I'm like getting last month i got like 50 rupees from the same and we went out and have some coffee right over there so like i said like first approach someone from dev towns i've provided you guys with my whatsapp um link as well uh guzzle you can just go and search for shores on uh linkedin i have almost thirty thousand followers on linkedin as well so you can directly uh search from right over there so yeah you can connect with me on my whatsapp number somebody from my team or me would be helping you guys out throughout the entire thing like i said it's a three month long training and internship program and yes you uh, it's a paid program that will be having a cost of 7500 rupees okay uh from react to cloud it will be taking you almost two and a half months okay Like I said, Dimple, that is the reason why I'm not providing you guys with like direct a link to registration. Uh, I want to make sure that this is something that you want actually. And this is something that you really require because see, earning money is a very painful task for any parent. Okay. It's not easy. I'm also earning money. I know how difficult it is to go to work every single day, work, then come back and then follow your passion of teaching. Like it's very difficult. So I know that particular fact. So I will never want anybody to waste a single point, a single rupee as well. So that is the reason why I provided you guys with a WhatsApp link so that if you guys want, you can talk to me. Okay. Uh, if you have any particular questions or something like that, I will definitely help you guys out in that as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So C++ and Java, my preference is always C++, but it's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, taste of SQL query is possible by conducting boot camps. Definitely, Amir. I have a plan for a boot camp on SQL as well. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, please do text me on WhatsApp. That is the reason why I provided you guys the WhatsApp link. Okay, so that we are able to help you guys uh, guys out uh, properly. Okay. Uh, when is the next web dev boot camp, Mr. Spartan? You can just go to our website devtown.in and check it from right over there. 
what should i prefer c++ or java for dsa my preference was c++ that but that will be totally your um, opinion or your option itself a boot camp for c++ we are having a c++ uh, in the future as well don't worry about it sovic maji three months is too little time to understand yes sovic that is the reason why i said that it is two hours of classes every single day not alternate days every single day for five to six days a week and we usually extend the entire thing to three and a half months okay that is usually how much time it takes to complete it but i usually say three months itself okay uh, where to learn C++ for a fee? Helena, we have already provided a 5 hour long video covering the entire C++ from the basics to the most advanced level on our YouTube channel. You can learn it from right over there. 2013 pass out, will it be helpful? Sure. If you are ready to put in the work, it will be helpful for you. If I clear my backlogs, uh, will there be no placement problem, right? Yes. If you are able to clear your backlogs, there shouldn't be any problem. But please do it as fast as possible. Okay. Uh what things to put in skill set in resume usually put up your dsa your cp whatever you are having right over there and put up the, some of the technologies that you are very sure that you have worked upon uh, properly right over there never put python or javascript in your skill sets okay my option is available tarun we have kept uh, that in mind as well don't worry about it okay uh is it too late to do no vijay lakshmi it's not too late to do but start it immediately okay we need laptop or computer for zoom lecture uh, you can watch the zoom it's a zoom lecture you can visit it from your phone as well like there's no need for a laptop right over there okay can I put C on my resume uh, if it's, I'm on an intermediate level? Yes, you can provide C on your resume, but nobody cares for it right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Sorry, you told uh, developers only friend is coffee, but I saw developers rather I'm working with them. They prefer to have whiskey, brandy or wine. Rhythm Das, that's an absolutely clear statement, but you cannot be drunk 24-7. Okay, yeah, sometimes on the weekends it's possible that they are, but usually in the day when they are working in an office, you have to keep up with coffee itself. Okay. Uh, doing CP daily means solving CP questions or participating in concepts both. Okay, Sahil, when you are practicing CP questions, you are taking your time, but in an exam, you will have a constraint on time. So you need to practice, uh, give some competitions as well so that you are having that constraint. Okay, no 10, 10, 12 cent marks do not matter in placements. Okay. Uh, where to learn DSA full course? I'm in first year. You can join the program, Sahil. We teach DSA from its entirety. Okay. So can you tell is AI and machine learning a good path? Yes, of course. We are having a data science program as well. So of course it's a good path. Okay. Mean on Moon Stack, which is the best, go with uh, Moon Stack, of course. Like there's no other thing that you have to do. you can just take up the entire syllabus and just explore the syllabus and just search for it on the net that is how you will be able to get the uh like study everything for free as well don't worry about it okay for those who are interested okay um for those who are interested in joining the program you can definitely join the program from like just message me on whatsapp somebody either me for or from my team will be able to help you guys out with the same as well also how many take means take does it take for dsa for placement for beginners uh three months at least at least if you're doing it on a daily basis okay Okay, so let me just show you the attendance link for today as well. Yes, uh, any field that is related to uh, IT, whether it be data science, whether it be full stack, whether it be cyber security, whether it be anything else that you are planning to do. If it is related to IT, you need to learn data structures and algorithms. You don't have any choice. Okay. You don't have any choice.
yes you can use aws free trial for your projects as well you don't have to worry about it that is the reason why we have aws right over there so we use the free tier of aws in our program as well no i have not yet watched vikram one of my friends has watched it but i didn't get enough time to watch the same but i will definitely try my best so that i'm getting some time to watch vikram as well i should clear my backlogs on summer vacation how will i get my internship from this certificate uh while you're clear, clearing your backlogs you will have to do your internship as well there's no options right over there now backlog isn't something hard like i also was in college i used to study just one night before even not one night before like just the night of the examination i used to start studying for the like exam so i had done it like everybody in the college does that particular way you don't have to like devote the entire summer vacation uh, for the same again okay. just don't tell people that uh, you are currently having a backlog okay try to refrain from doing that this is the qr code for today guys you can scan the qr code from right over here how many days do we get the free tire of aws it's not according to days but according to the like uh, whatever you are using or how much time you are using it so good bulletin you can just go to aws and search for the same itself is PW, uh, php good for backend or not no hitesh you should go with the mon stack itself okay So I'm in my third year after three months program will companies hire me for internships yes of course that is the reason why see the entire aim of the program is to get students please that is the reason why we have started with the same as well okay it takes time but see you have to make sure that you are giving the entire three months like dedicatedly to this whatever your instructor is telling you whatever they are suggesting to you see these people have cracked companies they are currently working in the companies and these are people who are going to help you get into the companies as well so whatever the instructor is saying you that you have to take it with a pinch of salt okay you have to make sure that you are following it to the letter okay like i said anybody who is in their first year second year third year fourth year you can join the same hitesh i have already answered your question php is not a good but choice right now for backend okay there's not a lot of placement right over there okay of course uh, do not do a lot of projects in html and css these are considered as to be like two basics projects nobody is even going to look at it okay so uh, like i will just it's just the basics that you are developing right over there there's nothing new to it uh for those who are currently in the bootcamp itself uh, if you want to join the training program it would be great to see you guys right over there i have provided you guys with the uh whatsapp link as well okay so thank you so much guys and we will meet tomorrow okay i never had a backlog ever in my life okay <laughs> i've never failed any subject up till now there was once a time that i was fearing like i had taken music in my college and i, I i'm very you can just listen to my voice and you can just understand how terrible i was in music so i literally had that sense like i will be feeling the subject everybody said that it, like they are very chill and everything and the instructor got changed right over there so yeah uh harsh i'm sitting right over here so i cannot check my whatsapp right now but definitely we'll be checking it uh as soon as possible okay so thank you so much guys choose react over anything else okay thank you so much guys thank you